Coliseum Storm Spawn Mouse. This mouse is designed for the claw grip. The claw grip. There you go. It's uh, a bit different than a regular mouse in the sense that it, well, the first thing when you look at it, you, it looks like a regular mouse and they've smashed it down to make it perfect for people who want to use claw grip. So before I even get into the specs, let's talk about the dimensions of this. It's 107 millimeters long by 75 millimeters wide by 35 millimeters high and the uh, cable length two meters and we've got a gold plated USB. Feels really nice, like it's got rubberized coating everywhere and um, I want to note that the rubberized coating really doesn't show fingerprints. You can kind of just handle this thing and I don't see any fingerprints anywhere. Now beyond that we have rubber on the sides and it's sort of a, not mesh rubber, but like it's a grippy rubber. You can see there's a, there's a pattern on it. Uh, to really help you grab this mouse and it's going to make sure that your hand's not sliding around even when you're like in the heat of battle and you're getting sweaty you sweaty person and you're like slipping and sliding everywhere but you're not gonna have to worry about your hands moving around because the you know the rubber on the sides is really nice and firm i played uh, quake live with this for quite some time insta gib because that's what requires the most accuracy and almost every time i was shooting like 55 to 60 percent and uh, i've got a couple other optical mice that i, I play around with and usually get around that. I don't know if that's good or bad. I guess it's all right. Let's talk about um, the features of the mouse itself. And we have seven fully programmable buttons, uh, Omron switches, as you'd see with most high quality gaming mice. Uh, and then we have a Japanese built scroll wheel. Nice click in the scroll wheel as well. On the side of the mouse here where your thumb goes, we have a couple buttons, you know, you can map them to anything you want in the software. It's got onboard memory. You've got 32 kilobytes of onboard memory. So all your configs will go with you. While you're on the go, they go with you. We have an Avago ADNS 3090 sensor, and that's capable of 3500 CPI max. And you can change it on, on the mouse. There's an up and down button that'll allow you to change your CPI on the fly. You can adjust it from 800 to 1800 to 3500. And there is no negative or positive acceleration whatsoever. On the bottom, it does have a nice smooth glide to it. It's got glider X feet. To me, they look like polytetral fluoroethylene, but I'm not sure it doesn't say on their website if it is. And I don't have any laboratory tests here to figure out if it is PTFE or not. The uh, max acceleration on this is 20 Gs. Calling time is one millisecond. And the tracking is 60 inches per second. That's the maximum tracking speed. That's uh, 6,400 FPS. It's frames per, frames per second image processing. One other thing I wanna point out, this does not have a braided cable. And um, for a mouse that is a performance mouse that is made uh, for people who may be competing, I actually prefer this. Uh, sometimes a braided mouse can create drag, especially on different surfaces. It can get caught on things easier. This is lighter weight, uh, still, you know, good quality. Um, and um, yeah, it's not gonna create as much drag. What, what's gonna be the main thing for a lot of you guys is the size and shape of it. If you're someone that's, you know, claw gripping your mouse, you're probably gonna grab this and, and never go back to any other mouse. It's just, you grab it and be like, yeah, this is my claw grip mouse. My grip is somewhere in between claw and palm grip, but I did find this to be extremely comfortable. Um, as far as my main rig goes, I don't know. I may use it, I may not use it. It's definitely gonna be, it's, it's nice and small, so it's gonna be with me every time I travel. I'm getting one of these just for traveling. And this is the mouse that we're gonna use for our uh, upcoming editing rig build. I'll grab this, uh, we had like the, you know, the power supply and the case from Cooler Master. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a keyboard and uh, this mouse, cause I've been dying to play with this mouse. And I, now that I've got it in my hands, I did not realize, like when I saw it, you know, online, I was like, it's red. It's probably not gonna be that nice. Cause it's red, it's weird. I don't like things that are red. <laughs> uh, all in all, I do recommend this, especially if you're someone who likes claw grip. So check out the CM Storm Spawn, do it. I was feeling pretty good about myself and I'm not sure if it was just the caffeine in my system for, or if it was the mouse, but well, you know, we can blame it on the mouse just for the sake of the video. Right? Right. Can we do that? Can we do that? No.